In this video, we will see what are the web services in Maximo and how we can create web services. So first of all, we have to understand what is web service. So web services provides an ability to send data from external system to Maximo in a synchronous way as well as they can also receive data from Maximo in a synchronous, synchronous way. So you will have get calls, then you will have post calls. When we will be doing get call, we will be basically querying the Maximo data and when we will be doing uh, post calls, we will be creating either the creator will be doing either a create transaction or we will be doing an update transaction or we will be doing a sync. So we will see this. So basically web services is a tool which you can use to exchange data with external system in real time fashion. This was one of the popular tool uh, when earlier version of Maximum was there and uh, web services basically works on uh, SOAP protocol and the language that they support is XML. The disadvantage of uh, web services is that uh, they take higher time to do the processing on the server side as well as the payload size is much higher as compared to REST API which uses JSON format. So Maximo provides three different kind of web services. So the first one is object structure web services, second one is enterprise service based web services and the third one is standard service based web services. So first of all we have to understand that how we will be using the web services and then later we will see the difference between these three type of web services. In order to use web services we have to go in integration module and if we go in integration module you will be able to see that there is a application given web service library. So we have to go to web services library and then in the web services library we will be creating all three kind of web services. So in this particular example let us use MX person which is an out of the box object. We will use that particular object and we will try to do some operations using web services. So what we are going to do that first we will create a web service and for that you have to choose the select option create web service. You will notice that there are three different options which are given. We will see the difference between these web services and the scenario in which you will be using each of them. But for now we will be creating object structure web services. So for this object structure web services it will open the list of object structures which are available. If you want a new object structure to be created because you want to club different kind of tables and different kind of attributes then the first step will be that you go to object structure and then you create an object structure. So as I said that I am going to use an out of the box object structure MX person which basically provides me the ability to see the data or query the data for person record as well as to do some other manipulations on the person record. So I am using this particular object structure MX person. So I will click on the create and you will notice that it has basically created the web services. It is always a good idea to give a description of any artifacts that you are creating. So I will save this. So you will notice that when my web services is created that point of time there are certain operations which are available. So I have create MX person, this, me op this method I can use to create a new record, I can update, I can delete, I can do a sync and then obviously I can do the query to get all the person data. The next step is, so my web services is created, so I have to deploy this web services, so I have to come to this select action and I have to click on deploy web services once it is going to be successfully deployed you will see this kind of message which says that web services is deployed successfully and you will also be able to see that is deployed checkbox will be checked before that this particular checkbox checkbox was unchecked now the next step is that you have to generate visdl visdl is basically a schema file which is used for web services operations this is a global standard so for that particular thing you will be clicking this particular button generate schema visual or view xml once you are going to click it will be basically showing you the visual the other way of doing this particular thing can be uh, url 
so this is the sample url which you can see here so in this case you can see that i have replaced the information with my detail so i have replaced the server and obviously the name of the object structure so if i will take this particular of if i take this particular url and if i hit this you can see that it has basically generated a whistle this particular whistle if you will review you will find that it has definition of all the different attributes which are available as part of my object structure and different methods so my job is to save this particular whistle so i will be saving this and then once i save it i will be giving this particular whistle to the external team who will be in real time scenario along with the parameters that they have to access so that they can use this particular web service to send the data from the external system to maximo or query the maximo data so for now for the demo how this particular thing works i am going to use soap ui soap ui is basically a tool which you can use to call web services and test web services so i have gone to soap ui and then uh, by default you will get a project created i will be clicking right click and then i will be adding whistle this dialog will open where i will be actually choosing the whistle so i have basically chosen this particular whistle which i have downloaded from maximo using that url and if i click okay you will be able to see that all the methods which are available there in the web services services are also available here so you will see all these five methods then if you want to access anything you can basically expand it and you will be able to see uh, this particular request is available so i want to query some information from mx person so in that particular case you will notice that this definition is there i have to modify this particular definition and then i have to uh, pass the risk the request and i shall be getting some response from maximo so in this particular case this is the definition which i will be passing so i have taken two definition the first definition is for syncing the data and the the second definition is of getting the data uh, so what i am going to do is i am i am first going to query so in this case i will open the query request and i will replace this particular thing with a little smaller uh, request payload so what i'm trying to do here is basically there is a user revis and i want to fetch the information of the user revis and once i am going to to run this i will be clicking on this green button and you will be able to notice that i have basically received an error so you can receive that it says that i have not provided any credential be informed that many times when you are going to use you will not be able to to see this particular error because uh, by default sometimes different version of webisphere do not write the exact error but they will be just writing a uh, generic error so in that particular case in order to uh, sort that problem out you have to go to your webisphere application server so in this particular case i will go to the webisphere application server and in the webisphere application server i have to add a custom property so once you will add that particular custom property and restart your application server you will be able to see that you will be getting the meaningful messages so that you it will help you to debug the issue and correct the problem so in this particular case if i go to process definition and java virtual machine i will go to custom property you will notice that web services dot unify dot fault the value is set to false set this value and then restart your application server and then if you are going to access any request and if there is an error you will be getting a meaningful message here okay so in this particular case it says that no user authentic credential so i have not passed any credentials so what i am going to do i will go to header and i will pass max auth so this particular instance have native native authentication enabled so in this case i have basically taken uh, base64 encoded string 
for username and password i am going to replace this and then i am going to hit enter so if i am hitting enter you will notice that i got a response 200 and you can see that all the information associated with this particular user is available this user was Revis, so you can see all the related information is, is available. So this is how you can do a query operation. Now I will also show you how you will be doing a sync operation. Similarly, you can do create and you can also do update. The parameters will change. So if I will click on sync, this is the request. So you can change your sync request to something like this we'll see what this request is so in this particular thing i am passing a person name person id and i am passing department so if i go to maximo right now let me go to maximo and let me go to people application If I hit enter and I try to access the record Revis, it does not have any department as you can see from here. The department is blank and I want to update the department. So I can do sync as well as I can also do update. So in this particular case, I am basically passing a person ID which is matching to Revis and then I am trying to update the department as maintenance. And once I do it, I will do running this. will see again I got an error of user credentials so I will go and I will add user credentials and now if I hit it you will see I got a status message 200 ok and this is the response that I got so it says that this is successfully done now if I go back to this record let me refresh this you will notice the department has been updated to maintenance and same thing will happen if I go to query and if I try to query now I will also be able to see that department information here will be updated to maintenance as you can see here department is maintenance.